friends, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my fall home decor tour. We are going to start my home fall home tour out here in the entryway where I always have this little mouse and I make a scene. Now normally I have a tray and I just keep the scene confined to the tray, but this time I decided to utilize the entire top of this yellow hutch that I have out in the entryway. The top of the hutch is more utilitarian. I have things up there that I actually use, but this part of the hutch I just use for de decorating, and I just had so much fun creating this fall scene for Mama Mouse and Baby Mouse, and there is Daddy Mouse and all of their friends. So within this scene, I have utilized things that I've just been collecting over the years. Um, I reused this green, um, I don't know, it's like faux grass, and this road and the rocks from my gnome village that I did this summer. All the little woodland creatures are just creatures that I have collected from Walmart and from Hobby, not Hobby Lobby, but um, Joanne Fabrics and uh, different places like that, the Christmas shop, uh, things like that. I got this little scump when we went to Turkey Run this summer. For, uh, camping as well as that woodpecker that's up in the tree and that little stove back there was my grandmother's this little piece of moss covered bark I just found that when I was walking through the yard the other day and I liked it and I thought that would make a nice little addition to my um, scene here and if you just spend time and, and, and just stand here and look at this scene you'll see all kinds of different things. I try to make as much um, like detail as I possibly could. Uh, here's the little antique ox and cart that I got thrifting one year, and it's got a flower and uh, in it. And there's Daddy Mouse collecting his acorns. This barn is actually a purse, a wooden purse. I got that thrifting. Entering the dining room and the kitchen. This is how I have my table set. I'm going to change out. I've got two different fall um, tablecloths and several different fall placemats, and I just change them out weekly as they get dirty. But so that's my centerpiece. I got these two yellow vases at a yard sale this summer, and it had like sheaves of wheat on, embossed on the side of the bottle. And so I've got these, uh, they're not fake, they're real dried wheat sheaves or wheat stalks, I mean, from Amazon. And then up in my sconces, I have my floral designs. They're the, the mirror image of each other on either side of that picture. And I incorporated the wheat. I've incorporated the wheat in a lot of my fall decor this year. It's kind of like the common denominator of all my fall decor. And we're in this corner where we have Lucy and Pepper's ashes in their little memorial area. I just put this welcome door that a subscriber sent to me with a few squirrels, some fall leaves, and a pumpkin. And then in this corner of my dining room, I have this lantern that I got from Walmart um, a few years ago. I just have it filled with a variety of pumpkins. Um, this bow I have on all the time and I just stuck some faux leaves in it. I got this um, silver apple at a garage sale last year and I just shined it up really good with some silver polish. 
And then the only other fall thing I have on this little shelf is this acorn candy dish that doesn't have anything in it. But that was part of a $5 Goodwill challenge from last year. On this wall, this is my pilgrim wall. I have this little shelving unit and I love to collect pilgrims and I put them on this uh, little shelving unit that I have on my wall. Um, it's under this, give us this day our daily bread, Matthew 6, 11 sign. And I got that sign from Hobby Lobby. Here on top of my microwave, I've got my Tom turkey, some more fall leaves, some acorns in a little basket, and then this nine cubby little shelving thing I got um, thrifting, um, I changed out most everything that's in here and changed it out for fall. In the kitchen, the only fall I have is my windowsill, and I showed you in another video this, but I've got the curtain back up. I told you that I took the curtain down and washed it because it was filthy, and then I had Olivia hem it because it was too long anyway. It came down about another four inches, which I didn't like that anyway. I just, <laughs> I was just too lazy to change, to, to sew it and Olivia is really into sewing and enjoys sewing so she hemmed it for me and as you see I did include more of the wheat in this so entering the living room I did decorate this is the room I decorated most um, and we'll start here with the father grandfather clock and up of course I've got that pumpkin there and then up here we have Hickory, Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. That's my little mouse, Hickory. And I always try to decorate his little area uh, each season and he always sits on the clock. So there's my two owls. The big one is named Hector and we can't remember what we named the little one. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter since they're not real. But anyway, that's Hector and what's his name? Then on the door, I got this wreath. I just bought this from Walmart this year. Um, I was going through all my fall decor and I'm like, I thought I had enough wreaths. And I didn't have enough wreaths, so I bought this. And then, lo and behold, I found another tub in my closet with a couple more wreaths in it. So now I have an extra, <laughs> but that's okay. I really like it. It's pretty, I didn't have to do a thing to it. I just took the tags off and hung it up. Here on this shelf we have another pilgrim couple. These are pilgrim turkeys. They wouldn't fit on my pilgrim shelf. I got these little felted mice thrifting. Here's that flower arrangement that I did. This pumpkin patch banner I made last year. In this corner, I kept it kind of simple. Last year I did like a pumpkin, I don't remember. It had a lot of stuff on here. And I just kept it a little bit simpler. I got this galvanized tray at Dollar General. That little hedgehog I got at Walmart. These are some more of my owls, my snowy owls, and they don't have names. I kept the blue and white plates because I thought blue and white and the harvest orange or the, oh, what is that kind of orange? Burnt, burnt orange, whatever. I thought those three colors looked really nice together. So I went ahead and just kept the blue and white plates, the hen with her chicks and the lamb with her, or the sheep with her lamb. Although those are more spring scenes, I just really like the way it looks. There's my um, vase that I got, uh, garage sailing for 25 cents. And I just put those florals in it. Up here on this mirror, I've got a wreath hanging. 
that I've had for years. Down here in my plant stand, I just have um, that little fox. I got that at Walmart last year. And then a variety of pumpkins. So then here on my end table, I have that uh, floral arrangement that I did in a recent DIY. And I just have it next to a turkey that I got at a garage sale. Uh, that uh, cast iron mouse I got at Turkey Run this summer when we were camping. That fabric pumpkin, I've had that for years. I think I got it at a craft fair. And then the candlestick I got thrifting. My love seat, I just have my fall throw and fall pillows. On my coffee table, I have this rooster that my sister gave me. My fall coasters. This is the tray that I usually have out in the entryway that I had the little mouse scene on. And my scene just overgrew, <laughs> outgrew the tray. So now the tray's on my coffee table. And it'll probably stay here and I will decorate it seasonally. That pumpkin right there is blown glass. I got that thrifting. Pretty, paid a pretty good penny for it, but I really, really like it and it's blown glass. The truck I got at Walmart last year. That turkey I got garage sailing. And that squirrel I got at Walmart this year. This is my chair, or the table that's by my chair. And I got those little kissing couple. I got those thrifting and I just put a little wooden pumpkin by them. And then those little uh, white ducks. Got those thrifting a couple years ago. That pumpkin I think I got at Dollar Tree. Um, down under this plant stand is another very unique pumpkin made out of sunflowers, orange sunflowers. I got that at Target several years ago. Also on this table is the family picture. Um, this picture was just taken, it was actually taken on the day of my brother's funeral at the little funeral dinner we had back at my dad's house. My sister-in-law took that picture and I really, really like it. Um, the girl, the woman I should say, standing next to Scott, clear, clear on the right, right here. This woman right here, her name is Sarah and she is my stepdaughter. I don't think I've ever mentioned her in any of my videos. She's a grown woman, she has married and has children and um, I just didn't feel like I should talk about her too much in my videos because she might not like it. But she was there for the funeral and so it was really nice to get a family photo with all of us and uh, it's the first one I think. First time we've ever had a picture of all of us except for when Olivia was a tiny baby. On the outside of my front door, I have this welcome wreath. I got this at Walmart a couple years ago. And then on the inside of the door, I have this wreath that I made. I've got this shelf with a bunch of fall things on it and I have a mirror image of it on this side. And then down here on this um, cabinet is where I put my tiered tray that I did a video on. And I've got, I kept this there. That was from a thing I did this summer, a DIY, and I liked it. And so I kept it. And those wooden pumpkins I got from Walmart and then I just made this floral arrangement in the smoke glass base. This is another floral arrangement that I made last year and it's hanging on my half door that goes down to my basement and then on that back wall is another fall banner. Travis has to hang that for me because he's the tallest one in the house. Over here on top of this little bookcase I got a few more pumpkins harvest sign and then in my lamp here I have a few little miniature gourds and pumpkins and then up here I made this frame for a 
challenge last year, I think. It might have been two years ago now. And then I also made that wreath. And so I change out, I leave the chicken wire frame there all the time and I just change out what I hang from it. And I really like the way that, that um, wreath looks hanging on that chicken wire frame. And then the last thing I wanted to show you up here, upstairs, is on top of my fireplace. I call it my fireplace, but it's a it's a gas stove that flames. Um, some really really good friends of ours found this sign at an auction, believe it or not, <laughs> and she saw it on the website. I guess auctions sometimes will will put an ad out before the before the auction and we'll have some pictures of things that they're gonna be selling. She saw this on the website and told her husband, we've got to go to that auction and we've got to get that sign. And they, of course, were the only ones bidding on it because how many floras are there and how many people know floras? They didn't say how much they spent for it, but they said they didn't spend a lot because they were the only ones that bid on it. But it's carved out of wood. And it's just really pretty. I think at one point it must have been hanging on the outside of someone's house because it's got these screw, hole, screw holes in it. But I don't want to hang it outside in the weather. So right now I've got it uh, sitting on an easel on top of my stove with um, candlesticks on either side with my shiny pumpkins. This is an old apothecary jar that I got at a garage sale for just a few pennies, I think, with some fall fo foliage or flowers in it. And I got the smaller candlestick on this side with another shiny pumpkin and my little angels that represent Pepper and Lucy who've gone to heaven. Okay, so let's go ahead and go downstairs. I'll show you how I decorated the family room downstairs. As always, the lighting is not great in my basement, but I will do the best I can. Um, on This is the main area that I decorated for fall this year in my basement, other than my coffee table, which I will show you in a moment. But this is just my blanket chest, and I just have a variety of pumpkins and I got this duck planter at a antique store or at a thrift store. I got that tray at a garage sale that was part of a fall uh, Goodwill challenge one year. That sign of course is Dollar Tree. I got the, this um, owl light and it holds a nightlight bulb, which I need to put a new nightlight bulb in it, but um, it doesn't really glow very bright anyway. But uh, I got that at an antique store, at a thrift store. And all the pumpkins, I've just gathered them and collected them over the years to different, from different places. This sign was given to me by a subscriber. That turned out really pretty. Over here in this corner is my mailbox. My niece painted the mailbox for me and my brother Doug made the, the post. And I just, I change out the florals that I wrap around it, the garland for the seasons. And that's my fall, fall garland. And then I've got this stuffed scarecrow and some pumpkins down at the base. So that makes a cute little area in this corner of my basement in my family room. And then the only other area I really have decorated down here in my family room is my coffee table and I shared this in one of my previous videos when I was talking about that vase that I had gotten. Um, it was my $5 Goodwill challenge for fall this year that I wish I shared this coffee table with you. Um, 
so I won't have to go over it in great detail but I got that big vase at a garage sale for four dollars and I put the silk the faux flowers in it the uh, candlestick is my daughter's she's just letting me use it the blessings pumpkin I got from Dollar General the other pumpkin I got from Dollar Tree and the little wooden book I got thrifting the burlap runner I got at Walmart and then the floral runner my friend Carolyn from Australia sent that to me and then I just have a scented candle that's me with my dog Lucy who passed away a year ago or just about and my dog Pepper who passed away last year as well as well as another scented candle So there you have it friends that is how i decorated my home for fall this year i did go a bit um a bit less um not a lot less but i tried to just do things a bit more simply this year um and i think i really like it fall is my favorite time of year i love the colors and the scents and the way the weather is and just everything about fall and so i think i enjoy decorating for fall almost more than I do for Christmas because I decorate so much for Christmas that it's a really big job and I was able to get my home uh, decorated for fall in just a couple of afternoons so that that does make make a difference. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching friends and we will talk to you later. Bye bye.